Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be trying out the new Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer. I have been seeing a lot of good reviews and not so good reviews on this concealer and of course you guys know I had to try this out for you guys. I really wanted to try the foundation out too but unfortunately in my area they didn't have my undertone so I will be looking out for that but in today's video it's specifically only the Essence Concealer. So if you guys are interested on my thoughts on the new Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer then please continue watch out. So I have the Essence Keep Me Covered Concealer with aloe vera. It has no fragrance, no added mineral oil, and is supposedly vegan. Not supposedly, it's vegan. It's a buildable medium coverage, creamy texture with aloe vera, dermatologically tested on sensitive skin. That's really all that it says on here. I heard from other people that this is supposed to be like a, you know, full coverage type of concealer. I did try to pick up the foundation, but they didn't have my shade. They had like a lot of other shades that weren't mine. But I'm gonna be honest, it looks really complicated to find your right shade in that foundation. So I even found it very complicated when I got the 16 hour powder foundation that one was kind of tough to find the right shade too the concealer shade range is not there either at least i don't think so but i got the shade warm buff which is 80. let's go ahead and try this out it does have a small applicator from what it looks like and then the shade range looks this looks really yellow what i'm gonna do is do half of my face with a brush and the other half with a beauty blender so i'm gonna just go ahead and try this on this side and just see that color looks good like we'll see how it blends in but it looks good formula feels very lightweight it's a buildable coverage the fact that it has aloe vera in it i think that's actually really good so the color looks okay i feel like it's very like my color color that i would choose so i'm just going to go in with this brush and just blend it in normally i let my concealer sit a little bit but i don't know how this formula is so we're not going to do that Okay, it is a, when you blend it in, it does give a very yellow undertone. It, it's not brightening at all. If anything, I feel like it's kind of emphasizing a little bit my dark circles. Like it's not even covering any of my dark circles. It's just making that area look more yellow. <laughs> the formula moves really nicely under the skin. I don't feel like it's heavy at all. I'm not really, the shade is just way too yellow. It's giving me really like I just put mustard all over my face. I don't know, I don't like the undertone of it. It doesn't look, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> Let me go ahead and apply just a little bit more. It does give some coverage compared to this side. Like I'm sure you guys can tell there's some coverage there, but I'm gonna let this one sit right here because I just need it to sit just to kind of get a little bit more tacky so I can get some more coverage out of it. But the undertone looks okay. I would have preferred it to be one of those concealers that like once you blend it, it starts to really blend into the skin is also give you like that really good coverage, but it's not doing that. So let this kind of dry down for like at least 30 seconds almost. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it in and see if we can get that coverage. Okay, I'm still getting like that yellowy undertone and it's not really giving like a nice coverage to be honest. It's a little bit more covered but it just doesn't look like the coverage I would want with a concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and use it on this side. I'm gonna use a beauty blender on this side but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna let this sit for a while but I don't think it's gonna blend really nice with the beauty blender just because the beauty blender tends to pick up more product and I'm looking for coverage and I'm not getting it. I'm gonna let this sit with that breakout right there yeah i'm gonna let this sit but i'm also just like i don't think it's gonna look really good the formula is very wet like the consistency of it is the texture and everything is just really wet so maybe it just needs to get really tacky i don't know but the color i mean the color's okay honestly i don't even know if i like these lashes i'm wearing i'm using these lashes from i don't know it's a brand on amazon it's called valicia right here they're really pretty, you guys. Like, I love them. I love the style of them. I love the wisp of it. But your girl has, like, some really long eyes, okay? So they're kind of too short for my eyes. But I'm going to keep them just because 
I feel like I can use them individually as like um when I'm doing like my at home lash extensions. Let's go ahead and blend this in now that I feel like it's kind of dried up a little bit. Oh no, it's already taking away the product. I told you, I could tell. Yeah, it's like blending in like a BB cream. Like I don't know why I'm getting like BB cream vibes with this concealer. I feel like if you're that girl that doesn't have a lot to cover, you don't have like dark circles, you know, you're just like, you know, really looking for a lightweight formula and cheap because this was only $4 or $4.99 or something, this is would be a good, good concealer for you. Me, I love that full, I love the full coverage, especially under my eyes, not so much my whole like foundation, but okay, I love the foundation coverage. But this like is just giving me very like, your skin, but better. <laughs> okay, I need to put more. I'm sorry, guys. I have to. I have to let this dry. I have to put more. Needs more coverage for sure. So I'm gonna blend it again. I'm just pressing it under my eye because I really want that coverage. The good thing about the product so far is what I'm noticing is that it's not settling into my fine lines. Like, I don't feel like it's settling at all. It could be the fact that it has that aloe vera, so it's like that hydration. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just put some powder. I bought this like mini from Huda, and it's kind of complicated. I don't know if I like it like the way it is. About the mini one though, this was in the shade yellow, but I'm just gonna set it under my eyes just to kind of see how it sets. Let me see. I swear like powder is just, if you find that right powder for your skin type, your makeup is going to look flawless. So this is the side right here with me setting it with powder. It looks good. The under eyes look youthful. I would have preferred a little bit more coverage with a concealer. I do feel like the powder did count me out and just gave me a little bit more coverage where I needed it. But other than that, it looks good. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is just finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right. All right guys, I am back. This is the finished makeup look right here. I wanna talk really quick about this concealer. So, so far you guys, I am not seeing like any creasing happening on this face. Like. I feel like it's not creasing <laughs> at all, honestly. It's not creasing, it's actually looking really good under the eye. I feel like the powder did help me get a little bit more coverage under my eye, but so far, I feel like I am, I'm gonna give this like, okay, this might work. The color to the concealer, I feel is very similar to my skin tone. So I do feel like I could use this on like my everyday makeup instead of using like my expensive Dior one that I always use. I could just use this one just because it's like one of those products that's very lightweight. But for my girls who love that full coverage glam like I do, you're not gonna like this concealer because it takes so long. Like I feel like you guys saw, I had to build this up like three times and I also had to like let it sit and get like a little tacky on the skin. So if you ain't got that kind of time and you just love that full coverage right away, get it on like the first swipe, this is not the concealer for you. I do feel like it is kind of hydrating. I will say the formula is like hydrating. I, I like it just because I love hydrating formulas. I don't like it when concealers are very drying under the eye and I can kind of sometimes tell when a formula is very hydrating just because it doesn't dry so fast. So you guys saw like I could let it sit under my eye for a little bit and I could still get some coverage out of it. It didn't settle right away. I was just going to do a first impression on this concealer, but I am gonna wear it for a little bit. I do have some things to do, so I'm gonna wear this concealer for a few hours just to kind of see how it wears. I don't really see on the website that this claims to be like any type of like 16 hour wear, 24 hour wear, anything like that. I am going to wear it for a little bit longer, see how it wears, see if it doesn't settle under my eyes and I will be back in a little bit to let you guys know my full thoughts. So I'll be right back. All right guys, I am back. It is 7.51, 7.51 p.m. I'm not even sure if I gave you guys the time when I left earlier, but it was like around almost two. Yeah, it was around almost two o'clock p.m. So I've had this on already for a few hours. Concealer is holding up really well under my eyes, you guys. I don't feel like it's settled in my fine lines at all. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it does still look very like youthful and really like I just kind of applied it. I can tell already that I like the concealer just because I've been wearing it for a while. I feel like it didn't crack too much under my eyes. I also applied it in like different areas around my face 
and I'm surprised like it's still kind of covering like this blemish area right here even around my nose like I don't feel like it transferred at all yeah I don't feel like it looks bad at all only thing that I can kind of say is like it takes time to build up it's one of those formulas that you have to constantly repeat and repeat I think I I think you guys saw in the beginning of the video that I applied this concealer three times under each eye and I let it kind of sit under my eye and then I blended it into the skin and that's where I felt like I got most of the coverage so I would say if you're looking for a full coverage concealer this could be it but you would definitely have to build it up so if you're that person that likes to just swipe one time and get coverage and go this is not going to be the concealer for you it's very lightweight formula it has like a very liquidy type of formula it's very thin consistency i'll tend to like that type of formula i really don't like a concealer that's like heavy on this under eye heavy on the skin and dries super quickly this doesn't do that i might go back and pick up another color so maybe like one that's like a little lighter than this one i got this one in the shade warm buff this one tends to just have too much of a yellow undertone. I could use this for my everyday makeup application. Like if I wanted a spot conceal, put a little something on to kind of cover some blemishes. I definitely can get away with this color, but I would want it to like have something that just brightens up the under eye. I might even mix it with another concealer knowing me, but I'm a color correcting person. I've started color correcting under my eyes last year, like heavy, just because I, don't get much sleep i have to color correct and get rid of these dark circles these two i might use together actually these two i am going to use together and kind of see how that looks maybe i won't have to go in so many times with that concealer because i'll get like some coverage with the color correct so other than that i really feel like i like the concealer i feel like i'm going to use it more it was only 4.99 super affordable concealer i love essence like essence is coming a long way. I love all of their mascaras. I have multiple of their mascaras. I have blushes from them. I have some lipsticks that I really like from them. They're super cheap. I love the Essence Brightening Powder that I put under my eye. Maybe I could have used that with this concealer since this concealer didn't give me a lot of brightening under the eye, but I love Essence. But yeah, that is it, you guys. That is it for this concealer review please let me know in the comments below if you guys have tried this concealer out and what shades did you guys pick so maybe i can head to alta again and pick up a better shade but i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so every time i upload a video you guys are notified and i will see you guys on the next one very soon bye guys